Okay. Yep. So, when you're practicing, yeah, make sure you have enough room. I think you do. Looks good. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I better put on uh, the recording device here just so that you can hear me a little better. We get that all hooked up here. Yeah. Get all wired up. <laughs> so, our tradition, our yoga tradition is the tradition of the mother. This is the uh, tradition of the mother. So, that mother, the gen gen genetrix of reality, of awareness, that divine being. Yeah, the womb, the golden womb. So, the womb, without a womb, nothing can happen, right? No life comes to be. So, there's the golden womb, kind of like the golden egg. In fact, it's probably where that tradition came from, the idea of the golden egg. The Hiranya Garbha and Shakti. Shakti is that energy of creation, of movement, of vibration. And so the Tampura is such a great instrument to bring forth those vibrations because, as you know, the strings are just shiver, shimmering and shivering and they create that pleasant wave-like sound. When it's in tune, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little flat there. That weather's affecting it, I guess. Good, so in these moments, let yourself sit as tall as you can. And this is a class <coughs> about the mother's love. We can feel that presence of the mother. <coughs> Become aware of your feeling sense of your breath coming in your nostrils. You can let your eyes close. Come to that place of awareness of the cool sensation of the breath as it comes in the nostrils. The merging of the solar and the lunar <clears throat> energies becoming one stream of breath and flowing into the spaciousness of your skull to the very spaciousness of your being. Feel that infinite depth of being. And the presence, the loving presence of the mother. spaciousness of the breath flowing through all parts of the mind body. Bring it back to sense the definition of your body from top to toe. And with your eyes open or closed, on your next exhalation, let your head nod towards your chest. 
mouth, so your chin comes down as you exhale. And as you inhale, lift it up. As you exhale, lower it down, entering into the first of a series of movements, letting the mother guide us to bow our head, to nod our head, in a gentle expression of saying yes. We lift our head as we inhale, and as we exhale, we lower the head, relaxing the face and the eyes. Just flowing with your own breath, letting the wave-like movements of the mother's vibration in your body expand you and then let you kind of fold in, returning to your fetal position, your head bowed in, your rounding in your back as you exhale. She you inhale, you unfurl like the undulations of a jellyfish or a fern unrolling in the morning sun. You exhale, you let yourself round in, letting the spine feel that movement as you inhale and your body and your spine unfurl and lengthen, draw your shoulder blades a little onto your back, lifting your heart a little more as you exhale, round in and soften. Again, just simply exhaling. So you've really come into a deep, very deep sensitivity to how your breath, it's actually not your breath, by the way. The breath is just coming in your body and moving it. But you're gliding on that breath, just like you were surfing on a giant wave that giant unfurling wave of beauty and bliss that is the mother. And finally, on an inhalation, come back to your integrated position where you're just sitting, and you'll transition into movement two, where you'll, on your <coughs> exhalation, let your right <coughs> ear dip down towards your right shoulder, let your spine curve, let your rib cages open, the space between your ribs and you inhale, you come back up. So now you're undulating from side to side. So as you exhale, your ear comes down. Millie, there's a chair over here if you like. Where is it? Right, right over here. That's good. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you like. And continue, if you're doing the movements, just inhaling, coming up to center, and then exhaling, lowering your right ear down. Yeah, oh, that's fine. And then inhaling, coming back up front and center. So your breath has a rhythm to it at this point, and I keep saying your breath, but really I should just say the breath. The breath has a rhythm to it as it comes in your body, expanding and lengthening your spine, and then causing you to fold into this C shape. You can let your arms dangle beside your chair, just to see what how that changes the movement as you let your ear go down and arch your spine, open your rib cage, open the sides of your neck. Once you do one more repetition, let the breath do one more repetition, repetition and let the, let the breath bring you back to center. Very good. And place your hands on your knees. This is a uh, our Wednesday practice, and we're Monday. We started with our abhitanga, our self massage, and um, that was uh, to begin our journey, our transpersonal journey to the golden womb. And today we're continuing with our exploration of mother's love and compassion as that shock to be that energy is expressed in our bodies. So let us go into Simhasana, the lion. That's where we open our mouth, <clears throat> stick out our tongue, look out through the tops of our eyes. Good, that's good. Yeah, relax, relax that. And we'll try that again. Open your mouth wide, stick out your tongue. A 
Look out through the tops of your eyes and relax again. Remember, you can do this on the bus. If somebody's bothering you, you can just give them the old lion pose. <laughs> and they'll, they'll leave you alone. They will. Especially if you do the next part, right? Okay? If anything, they'll make you laugh. They'll make, it, they'll make them laugh. Just try it walking down the street. Yeah, try it walking down the street. Anytime somebody's got a bad attitude, make a face at them. You know, stick your tongue out of them. Mm. <laughs> and they'll start laughing, you know, and you'll start laughing too. So, it's all good, you know? A sense of humor. Okay, good. The mother loves to tickle us and make us laugh. That's the mother. If the mother can make us smile and giggle, you know, that's what, like, what you do with a baby. Make the baby, you know. So, expand your fingers. Really spread your claws. Put them on your knees so that you can help your heart region to come forward, <clears throat> to lift forward. Draw the shoulder blades on the back. Send your tail back towards the chair there. So you're sitting up real tall. <laughs> you're gripping the insides of your shoes with your toes. And you're going to exhale, inhale, and then open your face like we did a moment ago. And on the exhalation, you'll pitch forward from the hips. So first we exhale, and we inhale. Good. And then we roll ourselves up and let the, let the mother's breath unfurl us again, come back up nice and tall. Good. So this creates saliva in the mouth. It's good. It's for digestion. You can feel that extra saliva, that's good. It's morning time, it'll create greater enzymatic action in your digestion. And you're opening your lips and your tongue. You know what it does? It stimulates your esophagus, your stomach, your duodenum, your small intestine, your large intestine, your colon, and your anus. The whole gastrointestinal tract becomes kind of charged up like, ooh, something's happening. Are we eating? You know, it gets ready. So sit tall again, and we're doing that because digestion and a good bowel movement is the secret to success. <laughs> okay, so sitting up nice and tall. Draw your shoulders onto your to your back. Good. Draw your heart forward. Exhale deeply. Inhale. <clears throat> good. And you're radically expelling all that stale air that gets kind of trapped in your lungs there. So, you know, as a mother, and as a father who's also a mother, you know, you want your babies, you look at their bowel movement, and you go, oh my, everything's good, you know? And when that's not so good, it's like, oh, there's something wrong with the baby, you know? And it's the same, it continues through life. So, mother is always looking at us and, and feeling us and saying, you know, take care just, you know, don't eat, don't mix your foods, don't, you know, don't forget to chew your food, you know, all those kinds of things. Okay, so we've done our two head and neck movements, and we did our Simha Kriya. We'll continue now. Mother will inhale us and exhale us into movement number three, which is when we rotate our heads. So with mother's inhalation, we expand. <coughs> Lengthen the spine, and as she exhales us, we turn our head to look over our right shoulder, letting Mother turn our head for us. And as she inhales, we come back forward to look forward. And as she exhales us, we let our head turn as she desires to look over the left. And inhaling back to center. My, isn't this interesting what Mother is doing with us today? Turning our head to look over the right as we exhale. As we inhale, she has us turn our head forward again. Softening our face. And then she exhales us and turns our head to the left. And inhales us back to center. Om Samya, Samya Parashesha, Samya Vyas. Sundari para paramam parama twameva parameshwari steam shri. And she brings us back to center. 
Good. Very nice. That was our third movement. What does she have in store for us next? What comes after three? <laughs> Four, right? <laughs> so, okay, amazing. So we're going to do, uh, she, will, she will inhale our head forward like a turtle. So as you inhale, as she inhales you, you feel your head moving forward like a turtle out of the shell. Mm -hmm. And as she exhales you, she draws your skull back towards the wall behind you. And you continue that way, just letting the movement of the breath take you forward, keeping the face relaxed mm. as you exhale, taking the skull back, chin back, inhaling and come forward again. Mm -hmm. And this last exhalation, let's let the movement just bring us back to our centered position. Okay? So that was movement number three and four, the rotations. So let us, um, she will turn us into prunes, into raisins. <laughs> By squinting our face to the tip of our nose, right? So go ahead, squinch your face to the tip of your nose. Just like you bit into the most sourest lemon ever. Really squeeze your face, really towards the tip of your nose, keep breathing. Purse up your lips, squint your eyes, squint your nose, and then relax that, good. Okay, good, so that's a counter pose. Um, not a pose that we do at the counter, but a counter pose, right, to the one that we did at Simha Kriya. So let us do that again, and this time we'll let the squinch become a full body squinch, like the cat or the dog in the morning, you know, pull it up. Well, actually this is the reverse of that. Yeah. Okay, well this is, we're going to squinch and hold the tension in our fists and in our face and our entire body. So bring your awareness into your hands, maybe hold them like you're holding some soup bowls for a moment. Roll in your little finger. Your ring finger, middle finger, first finger, and then your thumb, so you make a fist. Make it as tight as you can, without exceeding your capacity. Tighten your wrists, forearms, elbows, upper arms, shoulders. Squint your face. Keep breathing. Squint your buttocks and your upper legs, your knees, your lower legs, heels, feet. Squint everything. Keep breathing. Hold. Squint until you actually start shaking a little. And switch a little more. Man, release everything. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll get you warm. Yeah, definitely. Raise the temperature a few degrees there. So we are contracting the entire body. And when we do that, we really squeeze the entire vascular system. And then when we relax, it really relaxes everything, so it's a marvelous little <laughs> trick, you know, to relaxing your body. So I think um, I think we'll do that one more time, okay? Only this time, let's see if we can do a lickety split. Where does that word come from? Lickety split. <laughs> okay, that means to do it like that, right? So get your hands ready and make them into fists and get ready. And then uh, when you're ready, just just squeeze your body in. Go. Hold. Keep breathing. Just make sure you get into all the joints, the knees, the hips, buttocks, shoulders, chest, abdomen, navel region, elbows, wrists, fingers, crown of your head, eyes, tip of your nose, and release. Good. That's a, that's a trick to keep talking if you want to do that. <laughs> I can't keep my, I can't switch my lips when I talk, okay. All right, so make a couple of movements with your spine here, just to check in with the area between your shoulder blades and your chest. Just make sure you're not holding any tension there. Good. All right, so we did, we've done the head and neck movements. Most of the entire sequence that is available to us through the joints and glands. And we've started to move into the spine. So let's actually do some work for the hands and the wrists, okay? Bring your awareness into your hands and arms and float them up to shoulder height. 
And when the mother exhales, let your wrists fold down. And as she inhales, let them come up. And as she exhales, fold down. Good. And as she inhales, come up. Really stretch, you know, explore the edge there. Notice if you're holding your shoulders up, see if you can relax those. Good. Relax your face. If you're holding your tongue inside your mouth, you might actually try putting the tip of your tongue against the roof of your mouth in that little inner flame movement that we sometimes do. Good. Okay. And then just let the arms go down. Good. All right. Good. So that was a one of the hand and wrist movements that we can work on. We talked the other day about the chakras as we did our self-massage. So let's just massage our hands. And you know, sometimes when someone touches you, you get goosebumps. And they shiver all over your body. Remember that feeling? It's like somebody touches you and it's like, <clears throat> it's like, whoop, whoop. what's going on there? And now as I talk about it, you can remember it, can't you? You can remember those moments. So let yourself remember those moments when you remember. It has the same effect as actually being there. This goes back to the courting days, doesn't it? Yes, back to the courting days. And, and sometimes it happens even when you're not expecting it. You know, you, you, you accidentally, you know, Maybe there are no accidents, but, you know, sit down next to somebody and you touch them and you're like, mm, mm, <laughs> a person. <laughs> and you feel that little, you know, wave of goosebumps. Well, when you do these practices, when the mother is guiding you to do your self-massage, <clears throat> you have permission to actually let yourself feel good. That's what love is all about in the compassion of the self. It's like, yes, go ahead and feel good. Very important, right? First of all, we have to love ourselves. We, we do, and it's hard to do sometimes. The things I have done, right? You know, so we have to get over that. You know, we have to, we have to figure that one out. And, be good to people. Yeah, be good to people, that's right. Okay, place the palms together just to give a little stretch. You know, this kind of stretch here. Good. Very nice. Good. Okay, and then, like, opening a book in front of you. Good. Fold the book cover back. Your fingertips are up. And then, yeah, bring this down towards the heart. Kind of turning down. And then you sort of dive as if you were going to dive. Let your head bow in, your spine. And come up. And some of you can take your arms all the way up to the ceiling. And others just take it up to the shoulder height, but then open these up like you're holding soup bowls. Draw the shoulder blades on to the back, and then dive. Come forward again, bowing in. Come up as you inhale. As mother inhales you, as she exhales you, let her draw your arms down and the shoulder blades down on your back. Let her roll your spine. Let the wave of beauty and bliss. Soundja Lahari take you on this wonderful journey as you open up, as she opens your body, and then she rounds you in, taking you through that cyclical quality. And one more time, let her inhale you up, and then this time just open and just bring your arms down and let them settle next to you. Good. All right, bring your awareness into your heart region with your hands on your knees, and let the inhalation take your heart to look over your right knee. Good. Now keep your chin tucked in, and bring your heart towards me, out, out over your right knee, your heart, your heart region, and then slide it forward and over to your left knee, and now hide it. Round it back in, take it back into the chair there, take your chin in, and then take it out again over the right knee, like 
like you're opening up your heart and saying to a world, here is my heart. Take it over to the left and then fold it back in, conceal it, and then take it again out over that right knee, really getting into the spine with these movements. Okay? That's a lot to do. Okay, and then bring it back to a place of stillness and sit tall. Good. Okay, we've really worked on the shoulder blades there. We've worked on the arms, the hands, the fingers, the face, and the head, neck, collarbone region. Let us, excuse me, let's work into the hip area. So bring your awareness into your hips. And imagine you're sitting on a clock, okay? One of the, like, about the size of a school clock. And just move your sit bones around the hours of the clock there, wherever you're sitting. Just go around slowly, around the hours of the clock. And after you've gone around the clock in one direction a couple of times, go the opposite direction. And you'll notice a couple of things, right? You'll notice that your weight is shifting onto your sit bones as you go around and towards the back, you'll notice that your feet inside your shoes are supporting you, but there's actually a little movement down there, right? As you move your body, you know, and your head and your neck and everything, they're sort of doing something too. So it's an interesting way of integrating, interesting way that Shakti, that the mother moves into our body and says, this is what is the body. This is what is known as the body. Are you fully connected? Are you staying connected with your body? You know? Okay, come back to the center and just sit up nice and tall. There's a tendency for you to get really spacey. <laughs> right? No? <laughs> never. I never get spacey. Yeah. Right. This is space yoga. The akasha in Sanskrit, akasha, it's the space, it's the yoga, we're doing yoga of space, vashtu, of finding again, what, where are you? You know, are you inside that body, where are you? If I, if I, you know, took your body apart, would I find you <laughs> somewhere in there? You know, where are you? And so, most, a lot of times, you're somewhere totally off, you're like, 20 years ago, 40 years ago, over, you know, some other place, you know, that time when you were, you know, blah, blah. So there's always that. So. Yeah, all that thing going on. And um, sometimes you remember things that you don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, uh, that's always fun. That's like, my, my, how inventive. And then and you start thinking, ah, but I've had that memory before. That's, that's strange, because there's nothing I ever, actually, I, I, I didn't go to Egypt, and yet I have like this really distinct, you know, whatever it might be. And so, then that gets really interesting. It's like, where did that memory come from? Another life. Yeah, could be. This is where we talk about transpersonal yoga. Mm -hmm. The wonders of Hiranyu Garbha. Okay, so we've worked on our hips. We've had a little story. And now let's go into our lower legs, okay? So bring your awareness. Let the Shakti pour into your right leg and let, let her float, let the mother float your right leg out just like that. Just floats up. Good. And then down into your foot and your toe there. Let her move your foot just like a mother. She's just saying, oh, darling, look at your little <clears throat> foot. And you move it the other way. Good. And then she points your toes and she moves, moves your lower leg. Some little circles, like she's checking out your hip joints to make sure everything's growing good. And then you do, she says, oh, look, the baby can do some bicycling. And it's so wonderful, good for your digestion, right? When the baby has a digestion complaints, you sort of move, you put them on their back and you move your leg, move their legs and it, it massages their abdomen and their intestines, and you know, pretty soon 
you know what happens? <laughs> it's all good. Right. Okay, so back, back that up, and then extend that leg. Let it, let that shakti become strong. Let it be really like a rod, and, and flex that foot. Good, and then extend that foot, and then flex it again. Extend it, and then flex it. Good. Okay, now make a fist with the toes. Very strong. Good. Spread those toes. Good. Strong. And spread those toes. Good. Okay, turn the sole of the foot towards the patio. Good. And then towards the salon. Good. Towards the patio. Towards the salon. Good. Now, just put down the big toe. Keep the heel up. Watch that you don't collide with your chair. And lickety split. There's that word again. Just come quickly in with the heel. Just as quickly as you can. Make it super snappy. Good. And then set that leg down. And give it a little love tap. A little pummel from the knee to the hip. In our family, a love tap was a euphemism for something that that the siblings did to one another. And they said, oh, come on now, that was just a love tap. Ow, yeah. Ow that hurt. All right, so just do a little slap down, tap down, set, set that leg aside. Sit tall. Before we go to the other side, take a moment to reflect on the feeling of the breath again, how the mother is breathing you, and you can really feel that buzzing prana, the shakti, the energy flowing through your body. You really feel it. And you feel the difference between your right leg and your left leg. So let's, let's channel that shakti down into the left leg this time. And with your eyes open, let, let the mother float that leg up. Pour the energy into the foot. Let her make some circles with your foot there. Go the other direction. Good. Point the toes. Feels good to just let mother do this. Then you don't have to do anything. And go the other way. Good. And then a nice. Isn't that the way it is? Just let mom do it. <laughs> mom does everything. <laughs> and then someday you realize, oh, maybe I should help mom. Mom does so much, and nobody ever says, Thank you, Mom, that was the most amazing dinner you ever made. I know you do that every single night, but... And then reverse the direction. Gee, Mom, would you like some help with the dishes? And coming back. Gee, Mom, you know, I think I'll clean my room. <laughs> Come straight back. All right, yeah. Okay, and then straighten and tighten that leg. And press on the accelerator, draw back, press, draw back. So you're flexing and extending, and then make a fist with those toes, really squeeze it up really nice and tight, like a little ball, and then spread the toes, and then squeeze, and spread. Hard work, squeeze. Mom, can I stop? Okay. <laughs> you can stop anytime, honey. Um, and then turn the uh, sole of the foot towards the salon, towards the patio. And honestly, yeah, we have to rest, you know, in between. Because mom, she has unlimited energy. She just keeps going and going and going. You know? And then put the big toe down and keep the heel up and just slip that in there. Yeah, quickly. That is the amazing amazing quality of the mother is her perseverance and her patience and her unlimited supply of energy. Absolutely phenomenal. So we want to celebrate that and to take care of this mind body that she has so lovingly brought to us. So we have gone through top to toe. We've covered all the joints and the glands, all the chakras. We felt the breath moving through us. And
And this concludes today's session about the mother, mother's love. And uh, we'll meet again on Friday. But before we finish, let's sit tall. Come once again into your tall place. Just like that beautiful tall pine tree next to the mountain lake. In the middle of the night with the moon shining <clears throat> on the absolutely tranquil surface of the lake. Beside you stands a deer, the animal, the deer, just looking out. Let yourself come into the feeling sense of the breath, of mother's breath. together in front of our heart, the altar on which the mother celebrates us. We say with all the thought in the head, <coughs> all the love in the heart, and all the power of action in the hand. Namaste. We say Natma, we say Namaste. 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 And I thank you for joining together today. And practicing yet again.